This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Natural lighting versus flash. I'll be shooting on the Fuji X100V camera and all the images are JPEGs coming straight out of the camera using a negative classic film simulation. All right, so for this scene, um, I, I really like all the character here. It almost looks like you're in New York. You got all the fire escapes. All the character. <laughs> Just shoot from a lower angle, like down here. And she's gonna lean toward the camera so that I'm not like shooting up her nose. One, two, three, three. One, two, three. Ooh. See, these are definitely moody. Yeah, keep doing that. Keep looking that direction. So now I'm turning on the flash. I'm using a Westcott FJ400 strobe and the Manny Ortiz Beauty Dish. The first thing I did was lock in my background exposure. That's what you see on the rear screen. Then I turned my flash on and I took a guess at how much power I needed to light Elizabeth. It was too low, so then I increased the power. It's another guess. And then I found that sweet spot. The background of that shot was kind of dark and dramatic. So what I did was lower my shutter speed to make the background a little brighter. And then I lowered the power of the flash to compensate for that adjustment. So now we're gonna shoot the same thing, natural. Got it. That was fine. Okay, raise your chin up a bit. Oh, looks so much better like that. Let me see. Nasty. This is not a place where I would want to take a natural light portrait, but I chose it for the sake of the video because I can demonstrate how you can make a bad lighting situation into a good one using off-camera flash. I'm gonna guess at 4.1 power, let's see. I'm gonna turn the ND filter on the camera. See, what I did was first expose for the bright light that was hitting the ground so that it wasn't blown out. And then I turned on the flash and then exposed for Elizabeth, making for a dynamic looking image. Good, and I think Let's go to the end by the by the crosswalk. It's, it's moving fast too. Right here, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, take take a step to your right. For the next location, I actually tried to get a nice natural light photo and not just shoot for this comparison. I asked Elizabeth to stand at that shadow line so part of her would be in the shade and in the sun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, these are insane. One, two, right there. Even with the people in the background, it looks great. And um, now I'm gonna shoot natural light. You get the light out. Damn, that wind though. What happened? The wind is so nice. For this location, I posed Elizabeth in front of some old school revolving doors. There was a lot of cloud cover, so the lighting was really nice and soft, and I would be 100% happy with it, but it can sometimes make an image look flat. All right, let me see. Yep, take a sip of your coffee really quick. I'm gonna take a look at these. When I incorporated the flash, you're gonna notice how it gives the image a little bit more depth and contrast while still looking pretty natural. Okay, I already know the first shot was fire. All right, one more shot. We're gonna have her just leaning against the, love that, love that hand like this. I love that. Good, good. Damn, it looks really good natural light. Now wait, let's, now let's put the flash in, Dave. It's gonna be hard to top that natural light, I'm not gonna lie. That's it, one, got it, okay. Money, man, do the sign. Yeah. When I look for my compositions, what I like to do is, I just, I just, I just, what? <laughs> I just kind of walk around and um and just get a preview of what it looks like on um, my mirrorless camera. 
<laughs> okay. If I shoot straight on, I feel like I feel like this is better at an angle, right there. Almost like you're taking a step, so I'm, yeah. you know it's like natural. And go ahead. Good. Let me see. Go ahead. Okay. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna put the flash on now. We're gonna kind of just follow her, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you when. Get that balance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. One, two, three, go ahead. All right, let's do it again. Oh. Damn, look at this. Oh. Perfect stride. Damn. I really want to go to this place, the exchange of her. Girl, you know you know every store, everything <laughs> on every block. You'd be know, like around I, a tour. Just, I, just, like, I know, honestly, I actually, I could be a like, Chicago tour guy. The shadow of the, the tree behind her is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, come closer, closer, yeah. come closer. Right there, it's good. And even her shadow looks kind of nice. See, they got nice, nice pose, S-curve right there, one, two. And we're using her shadow and the tree behind her. And now let's bust out the flash. Yep. Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay. Let me get a B BTS. All right, so we have, um, there's a lot of greenery here, but you know, it doesn't match her vibe. This little section matches her vibe. There's a lot of city uh, behind her. I'm gonna have her sit down and because the sun is coming from that direction I'm gonna have her pose her face away from it so I could keep her face in the shadow and that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna light it up with the flash but first we're gonna take a natural light photo okay, ready one two one two three good and then now let's bust out the flash Ding. oh okay yeah bring it more toward me too much side light right there it's good yep perfect perfect one two you know, that looks great. Okay. So I would have let the video just end there, but I already know the kind of comments that I'm going to get on a video like this one specifically. So I do want to address that ahead of time. But first, I want to give the sponsor of this video a shout out, and that is Squarespace. If you have been looking for a website, blog, or an online store, you should be checking out Squarespace. I have been using them for, God, like maybe like four or five years. I love how my work looks on the website. It looks super high quality. The website, making it, you don't need a graphic designer friend to do or help you with anything. It's so easy to use. They have 24-7 customer support. And, you know, every entrepreneur needs a website because your Instagram, Facebook, that is not yours. And that's not the professional way of, of, you know, showing your work to someone. Okay. If you don't have a website, you should definitely invest in one. And if you use the coupon code Manny, you will get 10% off your first purchase. So check that out. So natural lighting versus off camera flash. I have made videos like this in the past. And what ends up happening is people think that I'm trying to take a dump on natural light photography, or I just want you to know that a lot of the compositions in this video I chose because like for video purposes. See, if I was out there just doing natural light photography, I wouldn't have chosen half of those compositions, right? Because I'm trying to find a place, a spot where I can try to highlight both, but also really highlight the off-camera flash one because n not as many people use off-camera flash or see off-camera flash in the real world on location. So, you know, it's, it's a chore. It's a pain in the butt, especially doing what I did. If it wasn't for David holding the light on a monopod, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And again, to each his own. For me, I think it's worth it. I feel like it creates uh, dynamic images that people are not n used to seeing. And you can control the exposure, you can control, like whatever mother nature throws at you, you can kind of combat that with lighting and you can always make sure that your model looks good, has good lighting, you know? So again, I am a huge proponent for both. I, I use both all the time. And um, this video was meant to just kind of highlight. I just think it's interesting to see what a photo would look like without flash and with flash. And also, I want to help people learn how to use flash. That's why I make these tutorials. And that's why I 
I show you my process. I'm very transparent with it. I feel like everyone should, should learn both because you could take that lighting skill and bring it inside in the studio, you know? So yeah, I'm not trying to make this, again, I could probably make a whole video about this topic on its own, but I just wanted to get that out there and get ahead of the comments. Actually, one more thing before I go, um, right now making content on YouTube is tricky. It's, it's, you know, everyone's got a nice camera. Everyone's got nice quality, all right? Everyone's got a nice YouTube set. That's the easy part. How do you stand out, you know? And I'm over here using GoPros. <laughs> I'm putting GoPros. Um, for my last two videos, I've been doing the whole POV GoPro thing. And no one's complaining about the quality because um, I feel like it offers a, a pretty cool first-person perspective. But I also, I, I really would like your input. And if you like this style of content versus having like a videographer you know, someone o over my shoulder. If I could go out and shoot and put a GoPro on my chest, I could do this much more often than I would if I had a videographer, because that's another person I would have to rely on. And it's just more work. This is, uh, this makes a process pretty easy, you know? And anyone out there that's looking at, to create some BTS stuff, I mean, if, if, you know, if this is working, if you like it, this is something that you can do. Buy a GoPro chest strap and start making start making content so i don't know i'm gonna go home i will see you next week